Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Profile? What kind of profile am I going to shoot for you? How about a Wilson profile? Stay tuned. All right, so before I get in on power of a Wilson profile, I want to talk to you about power of racket stringing. Hey, I want to talk to you about Racket Aid. Guys, That that's who's sponsoring this particular show. Um, my buddies over there do a great job of restringing rackets for you. For those of you who've tried the service, you know what I'm talking about. It's such an easy service. You go online, go to racketaid.com, type in your address, and they will ship you this box, empty box. You put your rackets in here, tell them exactly what you want, and it comes back strong. What kind of service is that? They come to you instead of you having to drive out to who knows where, because there's not too many people stringing rackets these days. So test out the service as I did. It's racketaid.com. They even have Selenko Hyper G now, one of the top strings on the market. Thank you, Racket Aid. Okay, so profile today. I'm going to strike a pose and show you my fat profile today. Look at that big profile. All right, so Coach Rob uh, said, hey, since we're doing kind of evolution on rackets, this is a different video that's about to come out. Um, I found something in my attic. And I'm like, what'd you find, coach? He said, I got one of those Wilson profiles, those original ones from back in the day. I'm like, man, bring that out. I want to see that thing. It's been like freaking 20 years since I've seen one of those. Um, so I was like, he's like, here, take it, take it for now. And I'm like, whoa, damn. I don't remember it being this big. So um, I'm showing it to you now. We're going to actually go on the court right now with Coach Rob and uh, test it out. All right, so we're on the court. We got the big profile here. Got my man, Coach Rob, who found the big profile here. Coach, where did you find this racket again? Uh, this was in the attic. <laughs> uh, high up in the attic, buried a bunch of stuff. Uh, Harry and I were talking about old rackets and I started looking around and sure enough, I found this one someone gave me. It's a profile 120 square hinch, um, big head for sure. And, uh, has some weight to it. Yeah. So I've, until coach Rob handed me this racket, you know, even when I looked at it, I was like, that's, that's a 110. Cause I, I heard of a 110, heard of a 95. I've never heard of the 120. So this is going to be real interesting because this literally feels like a two by four. Absolutely. <laughs> a ton of weight on this thing. Um, I don't know if it's solid or it's hollow, but it's definitely heavy. So Coach Robert and I are going to see what we can do with this thing. Um, we'll be right back.
All right, the two by four from Wilson. Coach Rob, <laughs> what are your first impressions? Well, when I started thinking about how long it had been in the attic, and it must have been strung even uh, longer ago than that, um, it was really interesting trying to uh, make sure I started my swing early enough to get the racket head around the ball to hit it uh, with any top spin or cross court. So. Um, yeah, I could see why back in the day you couldn't miss with this thing. Just stand at the net, put it up, and the ball would find it. So, yeah, it, it was heavy, and it felt like a two-by-four. All right, so I agree with Coach Rob. Uh, man, I could not get around that forehand uh, for a while uh, or ever. I kept hitting it to Coach Rob's backhand over and over again because this was a lot to tote around. I mean, it is... It's like I'm carrying two two by fours or a bench or something on my arm and trying to swing it around. I couldn't get in front of it. It was so damn heavy. Um, I mean, I think it would be a good teaching racket for you, right? If you can kind of stay out in front of it. If you could stay out in front of it. And I believe it was designed for people with short swings and could just block, hit volleys. And um, I don't remember a player really using it especially at 120, but, right. um, you know, definitely you hit in the middle. Yes. It was easy to find the middle because the thing is so big. Right. But you just got to get in front of it though, right. to get it in the middle. Right. Um, so it's, while I have coach Rob here, I noticed a sticker in there and it said of 30 tennis shop. And I've never heard of love 30 tennis shop. Um, coach Rob, I thought there was a shop up in Novato, California, maybe called Love 30, but um, I could be wrong. We'll have to research. If you know of Love 30 Tennis Shop, tell me uh, where it was, okay, if you're from out here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is take this back to the shop, weigh it, balance it, and swing weigh it, and see uh, what the numbers are, because they must be off the charts on this thing. All right, we'll see you back at the shop. I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for uh, finding this treasure. <laughs> uh, 120, never heard of, but uh, maybe you never heard of it too. Okay, I'll see you back at the shop. All right, guys. So it's time to see how much or how heavy this puppy weighs. You guys know I like heaviness all around and head heaviness. Let's check this balance. It's hanging again. Bam. Three thirty-eight, three twenty-eight. Excuse me, three twenty-eight millimeters. All right, let's hit the scale. At the scale, man, this is like the original Bubba. Let's see how much Bubba weighs here. Whoa, I can't even get it to get on by the throat here. Make sure it's not touching the wall. Okay. So, whoa, damn, 371.5. That is ridiculous. This thing weighs a ton. You see how head heavy this is. Three seventy nine. Woo. Let's analyze this one. So on my first, man, like five, 10 minutes of swinging with this thing, I couldn't hit it to coach Rob's forehand. I was like late on it um, all the time. So I actually worked out coach Rob's backhand really well with this racket um, because it had so much drag to it that uh, I couldn't really get around it. Now I know why. That is heavy.
that's like pro stock. Like we're talking heavier than Andre's. Uh, that is heavier than Andre's. I mean, both of these numbers are like Andy Murray numbers, like really, really heavy, really, really uh, swing weighted heavy. So a lot of weight in that head. So you need to be a big boy to swing this fully. Uh, balance isn't isn't horrible, but these two numbers are off the charts for a racket like this. Um, back in the day, I mean, when this came out, I guess we were comparing this to like a Prince Graphite one, you know, twenty five or a Pro Staff one twenty five, and those were thinner beams, and those tended to be heavy too. But I feel like this is even heavier than those. Plus, they were stiffer. No, this is stiffer and thicker. So, as Coach Rob was saying, when people were playing with these rackets, they didn't really have a backswing. These were for the people who basically played in front of them. So, they just pretty much kind of pushed the ball. And the racket just took over and, you know, pushed it over there with some power. That's why it's so thick. So, I do remember that. You know, you, it, you, the game with this racket is kind of in front of you. You just kind of did this, right? Your backswing was to here and you just pushed it through, you know, and pushed it through because the racket was just, it's all power. Um, I wish I knew what kind of RA this was, um, but I, I couldn't find anything online and I don't have the machine to push down on it, but I'll get, I'm guessing it's, it's going to be off the chart stiff, um, like real stiff. Probably, I mean, 80, 85, uh, possibly. So, because this thing, it, it, you can feel the strings move and the racket just stays firm. Um, but this is like a oldie but goodie. Like, I've never heard of the 120 before. Even, even when I've been in the business, um, I don't think they've ever sold me this one uh, back in the day. So, uh, but a true treasure, uh, this Profile 120. So you could probably find these um, on eBay or something like that and, and see how uh, uh, if you're if you would enjoy something like this. It's definitely a collector's item uh, for, for people out there who like these things. All right. So that's the profile. 2.7, 120 square inches. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.